Hello and welcome to the session on GSTR two-way matching. By now, most of you have already filed GSTR 3B and GSTR 1 also. And now the time has come when we have to file GSTR 2 for the month of July. And for that, a prerequisite is matching of data of GSTR 2A. And how the GSTR 2 will be obtained? It will be obtained from the GSTR 1, which has been filed by various suppliers who have supplied goods and services to me. From uh, the uh, GSTR 1 that they have filed uh, will be made my GSTR 2A. And this GSTR 2A data will have to be matched with my own data. And once that has been done, then on that basis, I'll have to file my GSTR 2. Seems very simple. And many people are saying uh, GSTR 1, in fact, it was a little difficult, but GSTR 2, it should not be a problem because most of the entries will be coming from the other party and I have just to accept that. That uh, seems really uh, simple, And uh, but when you actually do the work, then you will understand what issues will be there, what problems will be there. And let us try and understand all those issues and try to minimize them so that the work which is to be done in a time bound manner can be done properly. So there are very op various options. Uh, one of the options is working through and the alternative thing is using the GST software of Webtel. So we can use Webtel's GST software and here you can go to computation from the main screen, move to computation. Some errors are there. We'll uh, resolve them later on. And here we can go to the get GSTR 2A from GSTN button and we will get the data from GSTN whether we get the data or not let us see uh, yes it is getting the data no it has not got the data because authentication OTP is required so, uh, it is for the simple reason that anybody should not be able to in, uh, access anybody's data. So the OTP will come on the registered mobile number which is there in the profile of the authorized signatory or the authorized person. So this OTP is to be feeded. This is valid for 10 minutes and once you feed in this OTP then for 24 hours you can use the various services at GS10. But if within 10 minutes it's not used then it will lapse and you will have to apply for the OTP again. So let us see again uh, i will log into another company where already otp has been punched in so that the data will be available for download right away because in that case i did not have the otp so the computation is coming see here on a single page you can see the, the computation you can see the outward supplies you can see the inward supplies you can see the tax payable so very comfortable here from here the, we can file the various returns gstr 1 2 2a etc uh, 3 also and uh, from here also the right hand side you can see this button of get gstr 2a from gs10 from here we will click this button and get the data from gs10 and see this uh, colorful screen that appears uh, before you that data has been obtained from GS10. And as you can see, the screen is divided into two parts. One is on the left hand side, you can see data as per accounts. And on the right hand side, you can see the data as per GS10. So automatically the data has been compared and you can also see the date when this data has been downloaded because you can uh, download the data again also, but the last downloaded date is available. and the data has been automatically compared for you and whether it has been matched or not that is also shown to you the different colors signify whether the data is matched or it is not matched or it is part partially matched etc and see here the data is in a proper order as you can see like uh, the parties if you can see the first party is able software then ecom trading is coming then elephants media is coming so the the data is in a in a particular order which makes us uh, do the matching in a very comfortable way we can see the data from here we can check from accounts and since the data has been automatically matched it is convenient for us see th see this way the same party the data is coming on the left hand side also and the right hand side also so it is very comfortable for us otherwise you have to do this matching manually as i showed you earlier 
and as i told you it is coming in alphabetical order like this which we generally find very convenient so that is there and even there again the data is coming date wise also as you can see the various bills they are coming party wise alphabetical order and then date wise also again very comfortable what are the facilities are there let us see just have a look on the screen and uh, then we can proceed with this and the matching is there if the matching is complete then you can see the data is completely matching uh, what are the parameters for matching invoice number date value tax amount and the gst number if both of these are matching at the both the uh, in the gst data also in the accounts data also then the it is totally matched it is and in such cases or is it is automatically accepted you don't need to take any action now let us see only the match data when the green one uh, you click then you get the match data in these cases everything is matching again i'll repeat invoice number date value and the tax amount that is matching and if you click on a particular place then the, the you can see the color turning to blue which signifies that you are working on this record so that again uh, helps you know on which record you were working if you leave the work for uh, for some moment and then you come back then you can click on the uh, you can know where you were working where you left earlier so this was the matched records don't have to do and uh, most of the records will be matched if the data is correct so no issues with that and uh, as you can see everything is alphabetical order so no issues and here you can automatically in the later versions you will see this is automatically accepted now we will see the mismatch data uh, which is given in red color in this case you can see uh, is everything matching the invoice number is matching the date is matching the value gst number is also matching and the value is not matching uh, here also we have given you facility in the settings master that you can round off the data it can be exact it can be to the nearest rupee it could be to the nearest 10 rupees this is basically for matching of your data with the gst data this is nothing to do with gst it is only for matching purposes doesn't make any difference for to gst it only helps you in the matching of data so presently we have uh, selected the option of exact so we will go with that only and since we have uh, selected the exact option that is why there is some difference the amount as you can see is 8087.76 and in the gst in the data it is 8097.72 so some differences there and that is why this has come in mismatch so i can check the data if i have made the mistake i can correct it otherwise i can modify the data and then ask the supplier to correct accept this corrected data when he gets this data in 1a and so that uh, once he accepts that then the one will be automatically updated of the supplier so this is how the things can be done and uh, here i can accept the data thereafter then let us see what other records are there this is the yellow colored one the mustard colored one you can see is exist in accounts but does not exist in gst now there could be cases where the supplier has filed the return but he uh, either he might have not filed the return or if it has filed the return he has missed this invoice or if he has put in this invoice the gst number may be incorrect in all these cases the data will be there as per accounts but it will not be there in as per gst so i will have to add these invoices here and later on when in the 1a the supplier will accept these invoices then the one will be updated and automatically my two will also be updated in this case so i will have to use the option add missing invoice so that this can be accepted by the supplier so this was the case where the data as per gst is blank and but there is data as per accounts then the next one is exist in gst but does not accept uh, exist in accounts there could also be cases where the data is there in a uh, uh, gst but the data is not there in accounts because of various reasons because the bill may not have been passed the bill may not have been received the date the uh, material has been not been received and that is why have not entered it in accounts 
and uh, in some cases you can see as in the case of the first party impression arts the name is appearing but in the other cases even the party name is not appearing party name not defined because in this case there is no record related to this party till now in my uh, accounts that is why the, even this is not coming in future we will try to give you the uh, party names in e even these cases so here what do we have to do so uh, wherever the bills were not there the, the bills are there in the passing stage we have to punch in the data in accounts and also add this data here so that the two can match the data as per gs10 and the data as per accounts can match and in some cases i will have to also keep it pending in the options uh, keep pending is also there because probably the uh, data uh, the material has not been received and i cannot match this data i cannot show i cannot take the itc of this data uh, this uh, material so i have to keep it pending also the various options are there modify is there we can modify the data if there are some issues we can keep it pending and also add missing invoices so various options are there so that is how we can use this so this was another option uh, this light color that you saw and we have to make changes accordingly thereafter once we are through with this then what else we have to do let us see we have to add missing invoices option we can use in this case So various options are there we have to use these options uh, whichever is relevant uh, in uh, some in the red one with the, or in the green one you don't have to do it is already accepted in the red one it is mismatch so i might have to delete because uh, this does not belong to me or, or i have to reject even so different options are there uh, which i have to use in these cases and uh, then what next i have to see uh, then there is another uh, option match with round of auto intelligence what is this let us see in this cases uh, as you can see these are also green but there are green with uh, the status at the uh, right hand side you can see uh, with round off with auto intelligence all these options are there so rounding off as uh, now this case you can see there is some difference between the invoice numbering at the left hand side if you can see there are some spaces in the invoice number and on the right hand side you can see there are no spaces then in the first case you can see the, there is some difference in the number amount some uh, rounding of difference is there similarly in the third case you can see here in the left hand side there is in the decimals the data is in the decimals but on the right hand side you can see the data in uh, the third case is full amount is there in rupees it is there but we can through the artificial intelligence built in the software we can because all the other parameters are matching so we can say uh, with quite surety that these are similar invoices they are the same invoices because of some difference they are being shown in um, a little mismatch thing so we can accept these also then there is an option of keep pending if some invoices probably the material has been not been received then we can keep these pending then another case can be there where uh, we can see like uh, this rajesh soni party case we can see the invoices there in the left hand side also and the right hand side also but it is uh, showing them as different invoices but if we see more or less the data is matching the date is matching the amount is matching the tax amount is matching but if we see the invoice number uh, on the right hand side it is only 0019 and on the left hand side it is gst slash 0019 so uh, uh, by our in own intelligence we can see these are the same invoices but because some extra letters or words are there so the, the system is not showing that these are the same invoices so what we have to do we have to select this on the left hand side and we have to go on to the right hand side and what should we do we have to right click the data which we want to match and see the automatically the two will match again right again very comfortable and if by chance you have made a mistake you want to undo this facility then what will we have to do yes let us see we will go on the right hand side again right click it like this and unmap it again that will be unmapped or unmatched again if you want to match it you can again right click and these two will be matched 
so this is how in a very comfortable way you can see the gstr 2a data can be matched and it is not easy if you go by the traditional way you will see that it is not easy it is in fact quite difficult because uh, when you saw in the department's uh, utility or even on the website it is not easy you have to go to different pages you have to go to different gs10 you have to match it manually and where the number of invoices is sufficiently large if it is in hundreds and thousands forget about lakhs if it is even in hundreds and thousands it will be very difficult and this work has to be done in a time bound manner once thing streamline then you will only get 5 days to match this data and also file your gstr 2 and this time is not sufficient even for a medium sized company what to say of the professionals who will have to do this work for many many of their clients we are aware that people have uh, even 50 parties 100 parties and even more than uh, 100 parties and initially they were very eager to get this work and they thought their um, professional will boom like anything but when you actually go to the doing the work then you know what practical problems will be there how many things will be uh, you will be uh, talking to the client then things will be coming back from him then you'll again conveying something else to him so it will not be easy let me tell you if we go by the traditional way Uh, so you can use this facility and you can save the data as i've just now shown you and also you can download the data to a again if some uh, new entries are there you come to know that uh, more of your clients more of your suppliers have filed the returns then you can download this data again so by using this facility of webtel gst software the data comparison will mostly will be automatic and you will find it very convenient so that was all i wanted to share with you thank you very much